In this video, we're comparing the difference between the infiltrator and the shorty holster. I'm Harrison with Harry's Holsters, and a common question we get is what is the difference between the infiltrator and the shorty holster? A lot about these holsters are similar. Both have routed profiles that are designed to sit with the body so it makes them comfortable to carry concealed. The routed profiles are very important because they make the holster comfortable to use when you're doing something like sitting down, bending down to tie your shoes, or driving for long distances. Another key feature is the wing of the holster that is built so it helps push the grip of the gun into your body and it's also angled so it'll help press the grip in the entire top of the gun back into your body, making it stay concealed and countering gravity's force that wants to tip the gun away from the body. So both of these holsters work with a slide mounted optic. One thing that makes them unique from other holsters on the market is that we've made the sweat guard much wider. So it gets up above the optic itself and then it also is rounded at the back portion. What this does is it creates a lot of extra surface area just to spread out any pressure. And that rounded portion ensures that you're not gonna have a sharp pointy corner poking into your gut the way most holsters with high sweat guards do. While the rear sight on most of these is still exposed, it creates a little bit of a barrier so that the fat on your stomach or belly or your love handle isn't pitching the sight like it does with most guns out there. This sweat guard design really increases the comfort you're gonna experience when wearing these holsters all day long. So what are the major differences between the Shorty and the Infiltrator? So the Shorty is designed for shorter guns like the P365, the Glock 43X, and the Springfield Hellcat. So those guns carry a lot of their weight, especially when you're carrying at appendix over the belt line. And that weight is gonna to wanna to tip out away from your body, forcing the muzzle of the gun into your groin. Now this is why it's very important to have a longer holster with a routed muzzle, which is one thing we did on the shorty. We extended the length slightly longer than we extended on the infiltrator, which is our design for longer guns. And then we also completely rounded the muzzle because it's very important on a holster this short to just have a nice rounded surface sitting against your body. So it makes it really comfortable for these shorter, smaller guns. The infiltrator isn't extending quite as much as the shorty. One big reason for that is the guns for the infiltrator are longer, so we don't need to extend them as much to get the same amount of comfort. We've still rounded the edges, but we've opened the muzzle up so it will accept a threaded barrel. We've also got a mounting pattern on the back of the sight channel so that this holster will work with accessories such as wedges and magazine carriers we're currently working on. The last difference between the two holsters is ride height. Because the shorty's designed around shorter guns, we have put a little bit lower of a ride height on most of these holsters. So you can get the holster just a little bit lower in the waistband than you can with this infiltrator setup. Both of these holsters do have the same amount of adjustment. The shorty holsters just tend to sit a little bit lower and the infiltrators tend to sit a little bit higher. The shorties are only made for the shorter gun. So like the P365 shorty will only fit the P365. Whereas the P365XL infiltrator will fit both the P365XL and the regular length P365. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, please comment down below, reach out to us through the website, and remember guys, take charge and carry with confidence.